So let's talk about why I'm moving out of Dubai Marina. I've been here about a year and a half now and I love it, but it's time to go. It's mainly because we're getting kicked out of this apartment, but today we're gonna to walk through a couple of the good and not so good things about living in Dubai Marina. So let's go. But to start with, I wanna talk about some of the positives of living in Marina. Now one thing I really like about Marina is everything is really close by. You can get to bars, restaurants, places to relax, cinemas, anything, malls, within a really short amount of time. It's just taken me less than six minutes to walk to JBR Beach, which is a really popular tourist beach behind me. Now because there's so much in Marina and there's so much about, you can get anything delivered really easily, which is a really good thing because you have so many options. But it can also be a bad thing because it enables you to come and spend loads of money eating at all these fancy restaurants and everything on JBR. There's also Blue Water behind me, which is just another 5-10 minute walk over the bridge, which is an amazing location to be near. And one of the most important things is just being able to walk around. I can't tell you how nice it is to actually be able to walk to these places because a lot of other places in Dubai, like JVC where we used to live or where we're moving to now, there's not that much around. And and it's, everything's a bit more spread out so you have to drive everywhere. Now all that stuff basically adds up so you have city living right next to the beach. So what's not to love? Well, as you can see, it gets busy, and I mean really busy. Being like one of the tourist hotspots, and with so many people living here, it's a bit of a nightmare. Because also, one thing I'm not gonna miss is sitting in this traffic. Every day I sit on this bridge in Marina, and I have to sit for about 10, 15 minutes. Look at all these cars. Then again, with a view like this, it's not too painful sitting here for that amount of time. In the summer, it's actually really minimal, if not non-existent. It's only in the winter, it takes an extra 5, 10, 15 minutes. But I don't think it's ever as crazy as people say. People say you sit in traffic for hours, maybe Friday night or Saturday night, something like that, when there's loads of people coming into JBR. But in general, I think marina traffic's pretty manageable. Although we are on the outskirts, it's literally a little turn off of Sheikhzaid Road, and then five minutes over this bridge to our building, so we're quite lucky. I imagine if you're in the heart of marina, Marina, like near Marina Mall and JBR itself, might be a different story. Now Marina's actually surprisingly clean for the amount of people that are here actually. It's clean and it's safe and it's a really nice environment even for kids. Because look, there's even little parks about where we're going to chill here now. So just talking about traffic again quickly, I used to defend Marina's traffic because it's not that bad, but recently it's got really bad. Over the winter months, from sort of September, October, it gets really busy all the way through until April. Between April to September, it's pretty clear. I never really sit in traffic at all, but as soon as it gets to those winter months and tourists start coming in, then there's traffic and it is literally at a standstill for 20 plus minutes just to get over a bridge. I've also just realized that sitting on that bench was completely wet, so now I'm wet. Can you see? Am I wet? Is it upside down? Is it, is it wet? So after all that, let's talk a little bit about the main reason we're leaving, and it's the cost. It costs way too much for what you get here. It seems a little bit more comparable to London now, where you're paying extreme prices. The rent on our apartment has gone up 30% in the past year, which is just insane. So we used to pay 73,000 a year for a one bed, and now that's trying to go up to around 110 for the other ones in our building. It's just ludicrous. Wow, ludicrous is a big word. We're also looking now to get a two bed, because we've got so much stuff, and I want to form a little bit of an office slash studio so I can make more of these videos. So if you want to check out our new apartment, you can see that in another video up here, where I talk about the process of moving which is a little bit of a nightmare. But you'll find every apartment in the marina area now is really expensive. And especially if you move a little bit further out, even to just JLT across the road, you save a lot of money and get a lot better product. Especially in marina, some of these buildings are quite old now. Not old in the grand scheme of things like London, but 20 years here, you start to see a little bit of wear on the apartments. Now I am really going to miss these views. I mean, look at this, this is incredible. This is our building just here behind me. I can tell you now, because no one's gonna come and stalk me. I don't live there anymore. So this is Marina Promenade. It's a really nice little complex. There's a couple of swimming pools. There's four buildings. We were in Aurora on the 17th floor. Great views of Marina, perfect location. It's just really, really expensive. Something that played a small role in this moving decision was actually, we're quite far away from work. It takes both of us about 25 minutes at the moment. And where we're moving to, it takes about 10, 15 minutes, which is a win. Although we end up driving everywhere, so it wasn't really part of our decision. Like I was saying, it's a perfect location being here, because look, Pier 7 is just over there with Marina Mall. You can walk over here and find loads of nice restaurants, and JBR, five minutes that way. So we've also ended up in the car park, and in Marina you normally only get one parking space, which for us having two cars is a bit of a nightmare. I've ended up paying someone in the building about 400 dirham a month just to use their parking space. 
Okay, I know what you're thinking. At the beginning of the video, I said we're getting kicked out, and that is because people who own this apartment are selling it. Let me explain. So officially, according to Dubai law, you're only allowed to increase the rent by 5% each year as a landlord, which means when the property owner sees every other apartment in the building going up in value, and they can't increase it that much, then try and get you out. One way of doing this is by saying that they're gonna sell the apartment, which is completely reasonable, and that means they have to give us a year notice, which they did one year ago. That means we have to leave the apartment, which means they have to sell it. If they don't sell it, we can actually contact RERA, who are like the Dubai government on apartment renting and things. We might be able to get our money back because every other apartment in this building is going for around 110,000 dirham a year. Ours is still locked in at 73,000 a year, and they can only increase that by 5%, which is 3,500 dirham-ish. Get it? I'd, I'd want more money as well if I was trying to rent an apartment in Marina, to be fair. But it just sucks that we have to move because we love this apartment. And now I know what you've all been waiting for. Let me give you a quick, rapid tour of this apartment so you know what we had before and where we're moving to. Now you're really gonna have to excuse the mess because I've been working back and forth in Qatar for the past month, so the apartment's in a bit of a state. But this is our massive living room area here. Behind me, we've got a dining area here, a big mirror, and then we have a load of stuff ready to pack to be moved, big sofa, and then this massive living space. Open plan kitchen, which is really nice in here. You've got all the essentials, your hob, your cooker, microwave in there, built-in fridge. It's a really nice apartment. We've got a second bathroom here, which is home to the rabbit. Then we go into the main bedroom, which again is a bit of a mess. You've got massive wardrobes in here, and then we've got our big bed, and then an ensuite bathroom with amazing views of marina okay the windows are a little bit dirty at the moment but outside you can see we get to see the marina itself this nice big road and then jbr just over here same as the balcony and that is basically it so we've spent a quite a bit of time over the past few weeks looking at different apartment options in marina and different areas which i've done another video about up here and you'll find the price has gone up everywhere downtown marina even jlt it's all pretty costly at the moment so we've actually decided to move to arjan we've found an amazing two-bed apartment for a really good price and we're super happy to be moving there. but I definitely am gonna miss this amazing view maybe we'll be back let me just show you what it looks like at night pretty sick yeah but thank you guys for watching don't forget to stick around for the rest of this little series of us moving apartment any questions down below about living in marina I'll be happy to answer them I've been here for a year and a half so I know my way around and apart from that don't forget to like comment subscribe all that good stuff and I'll see you guys somewhere in Dubai probably Arjan next time boom <laughs>